So in the case of the Earth going around the Sun, the gravitational force is the thing that makes it go in a circle. Why? It seems very weird. Basically, it's because it's perpendicular to the velocity. Here's another example. Let's say you have a, a ball, um, and you're spinning it in a circle. Okay? Let's move a horizontal circle. So we're going to spin an object in a horizontal circle above your head. Now, I don't actually have a ball. I couldn't find a ball this morning. What I managed to find is, uh, is an elephant. So I can't really draw an elephant, but I can write elephant. Okay? Some object, okay? So I bought one. Here's my elephant, okay? All right? So I want someone to come up. I don't know, you don't, nobody really wants to, so I'm going to just have to pick someone. So I want someone to come up. The reason I want someone to come up and do this is because I want to discuss what's going on while they're doing it. So, Deshaun, could you come up? Thanks. There you go. Thanks. So, if you could spin it, up, if you stand about here, okay, maybe here, and just, can you spin it above your head? Maybe a bigger circle. Watch your head, by the way. Okay, so as you're spinning it in the circle, you can feel it. What does it feel like? Pulling. It's pulling on you, right? So the elephant, watch your head, it looks like it's going to hit you. Uh, okay, it's quite hard. It's um, pulling, on your, pulling on you. What do you think the elephant feels? On right. Okay, so the elephant feels you pulling on it, and that's what we call tension. Okay, thanks. So the elephant feels that Deshaun is pulling on it. I can't feel that. I can only feel it pulling on me. But that's not what's making it go in a circle. What's making it go in a circle is me pulling on it. All right? That's Newton's third law. So the elephant... So... Uh, okay, student. Feels the ball or the elephant, if you like, mass pulling on him. But Newton's third law says that the mass feels pull inwards. And this is what we call the tension. So we draw, this would be the center of the circle. The tension would be in this direction, right? The tension's pulling on the elephant, okay? But the elephant's moving in this direction, and they are perpendicular. So the elephant itself, okay, will not go in a circle unless I start it up. Once I start it up, the elephant can only continue to go in a circle if there's a tension. Once there's no tension, it doesn't work anymore. You have to have this tension to make the object move in a circle. But the velocity of the elephant, because it's being restricted by the string, okay, is caused to move in a circle. So that at any point in this you know, elephant spinning, the elephant is traveling in that direction, but the force on it is perpendicular. That's the key to circular motion. So if we write F equals ma, we could write it as a vector. Then if we choose, the convention is that uh, direction to the center of circle is positive. Okay? So the direction to the center, that's our convention. It's just going to make things easier that we have a sign convention. The direction to the center of the circle is positive. So if we write F equals MA, we're going to end up with T equals MA. And therefore, the acceleration of the elephant is in this direction. You can call that A. Okay? All right? So the acceleration is towards the center of the circle. I mean, I can draw a big circle, maybe easier, I don't know, run out of space a bit. Whenever something moves, that's, it's, it's really, 
as I say, it's, it's not in, intuitive, but whenever something moves in a circle, the acceleration, first of all, you know the acceleration has to be in the same direction as the force, Newton's, Newton's second law. You know that the only force on the elephant in a horizontal circle in this plane is the tension. So we write F equals MA, T equals MA. These have to be in the same direction, so the acceleration must be towards the center of the circle. Okay. So you could say, in this case, the tension is the force. that makes the object move in a circle. Circle. And the tension is perpendicular to the velocity. I put these vector signs because they have a direction, okay? And that means perpendicular, okay? Okay, so... Uh, all right. Okay, so in a little bit of math, because I need to quantify this, 